Hello, crafty family. I hope everybody's having a great day. Oh boy, I had an interesting day. Um, I'll tell you about that. Uh, we're going to do some happy mail opening. My friend, Alicia, who's amazing, sent me this awesome, chunky, full of goodness envelope. And I was talking to her on Messenger as soon as I walked in the door and telling her what happened to me, which I'll tell you. But um, And I told her I got the envelope and she was like, you know, I told her I'd open it. And then I said, wait a minute, let me open it on video. Duh. But anyway, let me tell you what happened to me. Because it's kind of funny and it's a little bit crazy and I went a little berserk today. Um, a little backstory. My car, the window, the driver's side window doesn't, it's like it has a short in it. It doesn't open properly. It opens sometimes. Other times you hit the button, it doesn't open. Sometimes when it's open, like the window will be open and you try to shut it, it won't. It'll The button will not work and it will not go up. And so the only way to get it to work was to hold the button because in my car you pull the button up to make it the window go back up, which makes sense, I guess. So I'd have to sit there and hold the button up for, and eventually, sometimes it took five minutes and it would make a connection. Oh, there you go. And the window would go up like as if, you know, there's a disconnect between the fingers and the brain. I don't know. Something like that. And so today, um, oh, and also the, you know, Today my, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, also, do you know how, like, there's the key locks um, for the, to lock your car and you just go boop, boop, you know, little key chain thingamajiggity? Everybody pretty much has one. Um, but my car is, like, a really stupid feature and I cannot figure out for the life of me why this feature is on this car. But if you hit your lock and you hold the button down for even a fraction of a second more than you need to, it'll make all the windows go down. Just all four windows go down. Don't know why that is. Makes zero sense. If you're trying to lock your car, why do you need to put your windows down? Don't get it. And I normally now, since my windows don't, my one window doesn't work, I never roll down my driver window because I don't want to deal with it anymore. If I go to a drive through or something, I just open my door because I just can't deal with it. It's a 2008 Nissan Pathfinder. It, it looks ridiculous that I have to open my door and I can't use my window, but I just haven't had a chance to get it fixed and whatever. I deal with it. So today... I got home and I went to lock my door and all my windows came down. And I was like, oh, because I knew I was going to at least be spending five minutes because all the other windows I can get up. But I knew that driver window was going to make me sit there for five minutes. Well, that five minutes today turned into 15 minutes I sat there with my finger holding the button up, hoping it would make a connection and hoping the window would go up because it's supposed to rain tonight. I don't want all kinds of bugs and animals in my car because I live in the middle of the woods. That's the last thing I need. I was so mad after 15 minutes of me cursing at my car, screaming at it, like it just screaming at my car. I was so mad. I finally was so pissed that I literally grabbed, I don't even know how I grabbed it because it's like sunken in, the lock panel, the whole panel on the door that has all the locks and the door locks and the windows opening and shutting buttons, those thingamajiggities, that's its technical name by the way. I grabbed it and ripped it out. I don't know how I did it. I didn't damage anything, surprisingly, but I was so mad and I, my adrenaline must have been pumping because there's nothing to grab onto. I don't even know how I did it. Honestly, I don't remember how it happened because there's no physical way. There's no nothing to grab onto to pull it out. So I don't remember how I did it, but I, I guess I became the Hulk for a minute because I was so angry and I grabbed it and somehow I grabbed it and pulled the whole thing out. Wires and everything came flying out. So I was like, good, I'm glad it's out. I was so mad. I was like, screw this thing. I don't care. And then I stood there for a second and I went, I bet you I could fix this. So then I got a screwdriver and undid the panel, took everything off, sat there, looked at the circuitry, cleaned all the dust from around it. And I realized that there was a little plug thing that wasn't plugged in all the way. And then the switch for the button wasn't on properly. So after I fixed all that and put it back together, the damn thing worked. I ended up fixing my own electrical system in my car, which I have no idea about electrical stuff. I don't know nothing about cars. I know how to change a tire and do an oil change and that's it. 
Um, I know a lot about, uh, I'm very handy around a house. Like I know how to lay tile. I know how to lay carpeting. I know how to paint. I know how to do plumbing, all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to electrical and, or, or anything with cars, I mean, I can't hang a, a lamp or a chandelier, so I can do some electri electrical, but that kind of thing, I had no idea. I don't even know how I did it. I, I don't know, but it's fixed. Isn't that funny? Nobody cares. I'm sure you're all like, okay, shut up. Sorry. I'll move on. But I just thought it was a funny kind of story. How I ended up so mad and I ended up fixing it. So, I guess it's a happy ending. I don't know. So anyway, my friend Alicia. She lives in Pennsylvania. I don't want to show you her address or mine. <laughs> um, I don't need a bunch of YouTube stalkers. Just kidding. Um, she is awesome and I love her. And we talk all the time. And sometimes we video chat about stuff. And she always shows me the stuff that she gets. And, you know, it's a lot of fun. And so she decided, I don't know, she went on a shopping spree and then she threw a bunch of stuff in an envelope for me. And I'm like eternally grateful because I could see in here there's some really cute stuff. And she said there's another envelope coming and I'm just like, holy moly. Sorry about that. I forgot to turn my notifications off. Um, but anyway, the first thing I'm grabbing out of here, like, I have not looked in this. I, well, I peeked in it, but I didn't pull anything out is these awesome um they're called crafters toolbox and they're the foam uh brushes that you put on your finger like here i'll open them because i'll probably end up using them soon they're the the daubers that you put on your finger so if you wanted to you could be all sassy and you could be like ah, and like clean stuff I don't know, put on a puppet show? I don't, you could do a lot of things with them. Or you could just use them for what they're supposed to be used for and that's dipping them in ink and daubing on your stuff. But I love these, they're so cool. I see everybody using them on YouTube and then I don't have any and I was like, oh, I want some. And she had some and so she sent them to me. Yay, thank you. I'm in a weird mood today because I went from like, I went from zero to 10 angry back to zero in a matter of 20 minutes, so. My body's on, like, confusion. Yeah. Ooh, and then here's some washi tape she sent me that has, like, the alphabet. Look, it's got the alphabet. Isn't that cute? I loves it. I loves it. That's really cute. I like that. And then I see... What the heck is this? <laughs> this scared me for a minute. <laughs> It's a little turtle, right? <laughs> but it scared me because she just bought a real live turtle. And she was telling me about how she just got it. And it, it actually came in the mail to her. Isn't that weird? A turtle, a live turtle. And uh, so when I first saw this and touched it, I thought it was her turtle. I literally thought it was real. Because I'm thinking, oh, God, it got in the package. She's, and then I realized that it's foam. Because it kind of feels real. It has, like, a weird kind of rubbery, real kind of feeling. So I, I almost scared the pee out of me. I was thinking, oh, my God, this turtle. But isn't that cute? That's going to sit on my desk. I love reptiles. And that's what we shared an interest in. She has chameleons and turtles and frogs and or whatever. I don't know if she has frogs, but she has all kinds of stuff. And I used to have a lot of reptiles, but now I don't have any. Um, but anyway, then she sent me these cool beads, which are really pretty. They're gorgeous. Aren't they gorgeous? Love them. And let's see. Ooh. A tape runner. That's something I need. Absolutely need one of these suckers. Yay. And it's pink, too. It's pink. What's in here? <gasps> Ooh, butterflies. I'll have to take the cover off so you can see. Because the cover makes it... Let's see, it's a little cloudy. I'm like ripping things. Isn't, aren't those pretty? Yay. <gasps> Butterflies. They're pretty. I like those. Yay, I'm so excited. And then, ooh. Teresa Collins. It's a little uh, sticky notes notepad. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. Let's open it and look at it, shall we? Cool. It's literally got sticky notes in it. 
And then it's got a notepad on this side. How cute is that? That's adorable. I love it. Whoopsie. Adorable. I loves it. <gasps> Stickers. Look at these. I love the puppy butterflies. Aren't they cool? They're so pretty and they've got little gemstones on them. Adorable. Ooh, look at those. Look at those. Aren't they pretty? I think I have some of these in a different color. I like the blue and the green ones, though. Those are pretty. Love them. Those are so cute. You could just stick a little um, rhinestone in the center. And they're like little flowers. Cute. Ooh, there's lots of stuff in here. This is going to be a four-hour video. Just kidding. Let's see. What am I pulling out? They're all connected together. I'm pulling out a whole bunch of stuff. Ooh, look at that. Look at that cute little clothespin. I love him. He's so cute. I'm going to hook him on my... What's funny is I have this little basket here that sits. And doesn't this look just like the one? Almost. Kind of. Sort of, maybe. Isn't that cute? I'm going to sit him right up here on the corner of it because he's cute and he's mine. He's going to be my buddy. Ooh, I don't have any purple washi tape and this. I gotta open this because I'm gonna put it in my thing anyway. <gasps> Look at it. It's got butterflies on it. Isn't that pretty? I don't have any purple washi tape. I have a bunch of other colors, but not purple for some reason. I never found any purple. Pretty. And if I did find purple, I remember it was like really expensive. I think I was looking at like a three pack for like ten or twelve dollars, and I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Ooh, and here's a yellow one with blue um, butterflies. That one's gorgeous. I love both of them. Ooh. Ooh. This. Ooh, this is from Graphic 45. Yay. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love Graphic 45. It's the, um, the like, the chipboard cutouts. Or the, well, the paper. I guess they're paper cutouts. Um from the, I think this is from the Raining Cats and Dogs, yeah. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love it. I'm so happy. I love these. These are one of those things I'll never use until I scan them and then I'll use them <laughs> for like pocket letters and stuff. But isn't that cool? Look at the kitty cats. I love it. I love this one. The cat's meow. So cool. And the cat's pajamas. <laughs> I love it. And then all you need is love and a dog. That's true. That is very, very true. And then she's got like the postcard ones, which are really pretty. Look at the paper on the back. Pretty. A dog, a dog day afternoon. How true. And then on the back, it's that paper. And that one's a postcardy type one. Ooh, I like this one a lot. I think this one's my favorite. I like that one, and it's got this on the back. And then this one, put this on the back. Now you hear my dog barking. And this one with the... Tigger, shut it! Sorry. <laughs> and this one with the woman holding the cats. The one cat doesn't look en entirely too happy, and this one looks like it's smiling. <laughs> Love is a four-letter, four-legged word. That's very true. Isn't that cute? All you need is love and a cat. Awesome! I'm so excited about those. Yay! Ooh! I have been wanting these for ever and a half. Okay? Seriously. They are the little word stamps. Oh, I love these. Who are they by? Cosmo something. I can't really read it. Cosmo Cricket? I don't know. I've seen stuff like this. I mean, probably not exactly these, but I wanted all the things with like these words so I could put together little sayings. And I didn't get the ones that I had seen because they were kind of expensive. And I was just like, no, I'm not going to get them. You know, I usually just like print out words on a, you know, from word, like in the word program. I make a word document and I print out my words and then I cut them or 
or rip them out and then distress them and all that. But I would love to have some stickers because it does make things a little easier. Isn't that cool? Thank you so much, Alicia. But there's still more. Oh, there's this. Ooh, there's more daubers in there. Holy moly. I'll have a dauber for each color of my ink. Let's dump this sucker out. Whee! Ooh, I just dropped a dauber. And you know me, I gotta drop something every time. A clothespin. And three more daubers. Dauber, dauber. <laughs> Do you remember that um, that show Buck Rogers and the guy? I think his name was Twinkie or whatever, and he used to go beady beady beady. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why I said that because I was going dabber dabber dabber. Anyway, didn't make any sense whatsoever. You're probably like, whatever. Oh, look at this little turtle stickery thing. Let's see if I can hold it up. It's hard to tell, but it's a turtle. It's got his humpy shell. And then his little face and his little... Look at his little face. I love it. Where's my other turtle? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Did my turtle escape? Nope, there it is. Sitting on the tape. Let's sit the other one next to him. Ooh, and I got one with a birdie on it. That's going to be my other friend on the other side of my little container. Ooh, these are pretty. Pretty. Look at the butterflies. So many of them. I love it. I love these. They're so pretty. I have some that are like this, but they're much bigger. And I was hoping to find smaller ones. And these are nice and small. These are like, you know, pocket letter size and stuff. They're not like... The other ones I have are this big. They're huge. These are... I like little things. I like dainty. Those are so cute. What's this? Oh, it's like a little chalkboard tag. It's got a little glitter on it. But isn't that cute? It's like a little chalkboard tag. That would be cute for a pocket letter to hook on the outside with some string. And then there's this little tag with gold around it. Very pretty. And then there's these little brads. I've been, I looked at them when I first dumped them out. And they've got, whoops, as I drop it again. They're like teardrop shaped. I've never seen teardrop shaped brads. That is so cool. There's a couple of them in there. I'm so excited. Ooh, and look at that black rose. Isn't that pretty? It's like a resin rose. I hope this is focusing because I can't see. And you're probably sitting there cursing at the screen like I was cursing at my car windows. Because you probably can't see any of this. And I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just forgive me. I had a bad day. I really did have a crap ass day. But that's okay. It's over. Look at all the pretties. Ooh. Another clothespin. Which it might even be the same one. I just might have pushed it over there. And then she gave me some colorful tags. Which I love. Colorful tags. These are so cool. I'm trying to fan them out so I can show you all the colors. And you know which one is my favorite. The pink one. And then she sent me some feathers that have animal print. And I love animal print. I love zebra print. I also love giraffe. And I love cheetah. I love any animal print for some reason. I don't know. So does she. Her, that's how we also started talking. Because she loves animal print. And I had um, sent her. And I don't remember what I sent her. What did I send her? I sent her something that we did a swap with maybe I don't remember now my mind is really screwed up and I sent her some um oh no that's right I sent her um I sent her some of the daubers that I had because at first we were just going to trade daubers like these little carpet daubers that I got at that thrift store I told you about I don't know if I've ever showed you these but these are like carpet sample things and they're like daubers and they're fun for paint and stuff. They're not so good for ink, but they're a lot of fun to use with paint. Um, and you can wash them and use them over and over again. I got a bunch of those at that place. So I sent her some. Um, and so she said she'd send me some of these kind because she had some of these. And I don't know where to get these because I haven't seen them anywhere. Um, and so that's how we started talking. And... Yeah, so from there, it went to her sending me big packages, and I sent her another package, and so we're going back, and or did I send it out yet? Yeah, I did send out, I think, her package. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't matter. You don't care. Ooh, I love those. How pretty are they? Oh, those are so cute. Are they Brad's? Nope, they're stickers. So cool. Love it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What is this? What are this? Ugh, shut up. Hold on. Okay. 
I'm not sure. I guess these are like from a uh, ripped out from a page. Yeah, they must have been. They're really pretty. They're double sided. These will be great for a journal that I'm about to make. But let's see. We've got this one here. Isn't that pretty? And then on that side, I love that. And then we've got this one here with the rulers. And then on that side, it's that. And then we've got, ooh, I like the pink one. And on that side, it's light pink. I like that one too. Ooh, I like that one. Love it. And on that side, it's blue. This side, it's blue. And on that side, it's like a graph paper kind of, or ledger paper. This side, ooh, that's pretty too. They have like a very mixed media look to one side, and then the other side's usually just a standard pattern. Or this one's like a wood, I guess. It's supposed to look wood, and it's got some other little elements. So yeah, like mixed media, and then the other side's a pattern. It's kind of cool. I like these. Isn't that pretty? As if you can answer me. Answer me, I say. And we've got these, and these, and these, and these, and these. So excited. I love getting happy mail. It's better than getting the bills I get in the mail every day. You owe us $14,975 for this surgery. And then another bill comes in and says, you owe us $8,000 such and such dollars for anesthesi the anesthesiologist. Oh yeah, those are fun. This is so much better. Ooh, look at those. I love them. Ooh, they're charms too. <gasps> Pretty. Me likey. Heck yeah, this video is going to be really long. Sorry. Ooh, look at those. Me likey those. Those are going to be fun to put graphics behind. Yes. Maybe I'll make a video of that. Ooh, look at these. Why do I get the feeling these are from Tuesday morning? Because it looks like the same thing. She, she must be a Tuesday morning shopper too. I think she said she shopped at Tuesday morning. These are really cool. I like the tassels on them. They're like chain. That's so, so cool. I love these. These are going to be so much fun to play with. Oh, and then a key. Just a random key. You have the key to my heart. I must have the key to her heart now, Alicia. Do I have the key to your heart? Let me open it. <laughs> She's going to yell at me. Ooh, there's all kinds of goodies down at the bottom. Let's dump some of this out. Whee! There's more keys. I have the keys to all the hearts in all the land. Ooh, look at that. Pretty. And then I've got another clip. I also want to do a video on decorating these and embellishing these. And I've got binder clips that I picked up that I want to do that. Um, do like a whole video about clips. Wouldn't that be fun? Like paper clips and... <gasps> Ooh, I just saw this. Of course, ADD kicks in. Isn't that pretty? It's a Heidi Swap. Like, I guess it's supposed to be like a journal. It's an album. Yeah. Ooh, we got to open this and look at it. Open it. Yep, it says Tuesday morning on it. I knew it. She's a Tuesday morning freak, just like me. Love that place. It's addicting. Of course, I haven't been in a while because I'm on a shopping freeze. Oh, no money. Isn't that cute? I love that. You could put like a picture in there or like a shaker. Make that into a shaker. Put some acetate behind it. Put some, you know, doodads in it. And then look. It's pretty. It's got paper. How fun is that going to be to decorate? And I wonder, I could probably cut these down to fit in there. Like cut them a little bit shorter and, and cut off a little bit here so I still have the some of the edge. That They would be cute to add in there. I might do that because there's plenty of room in here. I can add more paper, add some of my coffee dyed paper. I might do that. I think that's what I want to do. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. And that is plenty. She overdid it and she spoiled me, which I love her for. Thank you so much, Alicia. You're amazing. I appreciate it. It's making my shopping freeze a lot nicer when I get all kinds of good stuff in the mail. It's kind of like I went shopping, except it's a surprise. Um, but I love sending stuff out to people too. So we, we send each other care packages and it's just fun. Plus... I like doing swaps and you know don't get me wrong I like doing swaps with the groups that I'm in but I also like doing private swaps too like I, I like somebody to say hey you want to just make a mini album 
you know, just a whatever mini album with no rules, just make whatever you want type of thing, or, uh, you know, a piece of jewelry or a chunky charm. I did that with the one lady I did the chunky charm with, and that was a lot of fun because we didn't pressure each other. Not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with a group swap at all, but sometimes it's just nice to have a no pressure swap where you're just like, eh, I'm going to send it out next week. Okay. All right. You know, and if you don't get to it, whatever, like I'm, I don't care. I'm not really, I'm not, um, impatient in that way i'm impatient in a lot of ways but i'm not impatient by that like if somebody says hey it's gonna take me a month to get your thing out and i'll be like all right whatever it'll just be that much more fun when i get it it'll be like christmas so i mean i don't care i really don't i like sending people things so to me it, I, i'd rather send than receive because it's a lot of fun but anyway um that's it i don't want to make this go too too long i hope you guys have a great rest of your week and like I had said in another video, in case you didn't see it, I'm going to do the uh, 400, 500, and 600 um, subscriber giveaway all together because I decided to add in the 600 because I've been really overwhelmed and had a lot going on. And tomorrow, my friend Angela, some of you know her as Angela Holt uh, Designs Online, she's going to come over and we're going to do pocket letters together. It's going to be so fun because we found out that she only lives literally a street away from me. So she literally lives like if I walk through the back of my woods and down through that next neighborhood, she lives right there. And I didn't know that. And we didn't know that until like a few months ago when we were talking about it. So she's coming over. We're going to do some pocket letters, have some fun. And yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys have a great, great rest of your week. Make sure you do what you love, love what you do, and be nice to everybody. Love you guys. Bye.